in, in their game is what is their product actually about, who are they going to sell to, how are they going to sell it, and what do they have to do to actually be able to sell it. Um, I'm first going to give it to my colleague, Jesper. He's going to tell a little bit more about what the product is. All right, so when you're trying to sell a product, which a video game also is, you of course want to know what the unique selling points are, the things that make a game so great, and to convince someone else to, to know uh, and, and convince them to buy it. So first of all, we're, we're talking about a quality game here. You get a lot, of, uh, a lot of quality you can play for a long time. Uh, episodes come, uh, come and go, there are new ones released. Um, we're trying to rem rem uh, remain a, to have a, a fair price. Um, there are multiple uh, storylines that you can follow, there are decisions you can make that influence the, the future of the story. Um, and it's a very immersive game, so you can play this for hours and just, just sit at home, uh, not do anything else, maybe drink an energy drink and just you know, be happy. So, uh, so great, and there's a lot of emotion in it, a lot of uh, uh, character development that, that you follow, that you um, maybe connect with the character, and just, you know, stuff that makes you happy and feel connected to this game and, and give it a value. So, um, the, the people who are trying to buy this, we, we tried to make a little bit of an idea uh, of, of the people who are looking to buy this game. And we thought of casual gamers, people who, who don't, um, you know, who are not hardcore, but they're just looking for the story to experience, a, sort of an adventure to follow. Uh, and this, this would be a perfect, uh, perfect easy game that is not hard to play, it doesn't take hours of, of practice to, to start doing this, and it's just really easy to, to get into. Um, then we looked at experimental gamers. As you know, most of you create indie games, and, and they go. A lot of indie games are on Steam. They're uh, being produced in masses, and, and they're all really cool, small things that maybe have one thing a little different from, from the mainstream games. So, as an experimental gamer, the first thing you look for is, is games that are different, and this one is very different from most of the indie games out there, uh, especially the, the storyline games, in the way that. It's not a linear storyline, but the choices that you make influence the endings, uh, other decisions you can make. So it's, it's not just a game that you click through. Um, and then for, for lovers of stories, anyone who loves reading, anyone who loves movies, it's, it's an easy game to play. You can sit down, you play through it, and you have another story to add to your library. So I'm going to give the mic back to Florian. Um, so if you... Uh, look a little bit more, who is the customer? Um, when it comes to casual gamers, they are very often um, console gamers, so the little guy right over there. Um, because, you know, it's plug and play, it's easy, no installation, that's what those people want. They are very socially active as well on, on social media. They're on there all the time and, you know, a lot of games are also played through Facebook, and things like that. Um, and they usually find the story more important than the, than the achievement. And a hardcore gamer wants to get the high score out of everything, and he wants to be the best at everything, but it's really the story for these people, I'm a casual gamer myself, is far more important than the achievement. I always play on super easy, I just want to get the story out. Um, they often want to spend less on one game. You know, you have these games of 50 to 60 euros, but they don't mind about that. They rather have a game of 5, 10, maybe a little bit more. And this group is, like with many gamers, it's borderless. You can say they're all Spanish, you can say they're all Russian, you can say they're all Chinese. It's, it's an international community, so it also it has to have an international language, so Spanish and probably English has to, will have to be very important for everything. One minute to go? All right, well then I will give it over to uh, my colleague. All right, so um, the thing with this game was like, um, the target group of this game is often like on social media, like Facebook. So we analyzed their Facebook and noticed that um, it wasn't really going that well, there was not that many followers. So the thing is like they also tried to get English game as well, everything on the social media was in Spanish. So we have made a little of a step plan in order to, um, to have a bit of a future and to get more exposure for this game. So the first thing we want to do is, uh, is uh, implement multilingual so, uh, social media. What does that even mean? It means that on one social media page you have multiple languages 
And actually in Facebook there is a plugin in which you can see, um, like you just pause once and depending on in what country you are, you see it in your own language. The second thing is that um, they had multiple platforms like a, bl uh, a blog site for um, the developers' uh, notes thingies and, um, and so the social media platforms, however they were not connected. So it is, it is very important in the, uh, because of um, synergy, one plus one is three, um, to, um, to have those um, platforms like support each other. And so we, um, we, we um, link every platform to each other. Also, the, the thing with this game is that it's not just a game. Matter of fact, it is an art that has been uh, performed for thousands of years. It's a story. <coughs> and the thing with stories is like not only gamers will be interested in it. So how do you get like non-gamers who are interested in stories to play this as well? Well, the answer is in the social media. Everybody uses social media nowadays. You don't have to be a gamer to do that. So um, we are planning to do a um, multi-platform story in which on, on Facebook you actually have a story. <laughs> So on, on the social media platform, we will have a story every week in which you, um, you actually create attention for your audience and get to those non-gamers who are interested in stories and entertainment as well. I will now finish this presentation. <laughs>